Hello there and welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to be showing you how to increase the power output on the DJI Digital FPV system to 1200 milliwatts. Now a hack for this has just come out and in this video I'm going to take you through what you need to do it and explain a couple of things that I think you should be aware of before actually doing it as well. Okay, so before I get in this video, I just want to put a few disclaimers out, basically. This mod will allow up to 1200 milliwatts. The chances are that is illegal in most countries. I do not condone anyone breaking the laws where they are. I am going to show you how to do it, but it is down to you to ensure that you are always flying legally, just like the FCC hack before. Secondly, I want to mention that this has not been fully tested by myself. This landed literally less than a day ago, and it should be noted that it is is unknown what effects this will have on the air unit. The air end does have built-in thermal throttling, so I am not personally specifically worried. However, this is unknown and it is untested, so use it with caution. The fact this hack exists, just like the FCC hack, really doesn't worry me because I have a feeling these have sort of been baked into the system, let's just say. However, even so, be aware it is early days and that is a lot of power output and the chances are the ear end is going to run quite a lot hotter than it did before. Finally, I'm going to mention about the goggles and the remote. It is unknown if it puts that much power out on the goggles and the remote as well. All we know at this stage is it pushes the ear end up to 1200. The way the DJI system is, is dynamic. So even though it might have up to that 1200 available, don't worry, it won't be frying your brain with the goggles because there is a tiny amount of data that transfers from the goggles to the ear end and it is dynamic and all of that power output adjusts depending on what it feels it needs. Right, let's get on with showing you how to do this hack. Okay, so to talk through doing this. Now, first of all, as I said, this was posted by a brand new user called Boost FPV on RC Groups. Now, it is a very straightforward mod to do and it is very, very similar to the FCC hack. You need to create a text file with a certain information in it and save it onto the SD card and then place it inside the goggles. Now, the original FCC hack, you place the card inside the ear unit. However, on this one, you place it inside the goggles instead. So, to do this, you need to open up text edit, create a file and save it as NACO underscore PWR.txt. That is the file that you're going to need to put in. And within this file, you need to put one of two things. If you write PWR underscore one, it will unlock 1000 milliwatts, which is one watt. Or if you put in PWR underscore two, it will unlock the 1000 and the 1200 milliwatt option. Once you've written in which option you want, simply save it, save it onto the SD card, as I've said, NACO underscore PWR, place it inside the goggles with the whole system turned on and wait two or three seconds. And then the 1200 milliwatt output option and the 1000 milliwatt option will become available under the settings for the output. Now, this is very similar to the other one in the sense of, first of all, this does need to be done every time you update the firmware and you can only do this if the unit is in FCC. So you will need to have performed the FCC hack before doing this one if you're not in an FCC area. Once it's done, you can see it up on the screen and we simply go down into the settings where the power outputs are and you can simply select through the power output you want and choose it up to that 1200 milliwatts. Now, I would strongly suggest having power limit turned on when you are using this hack as well. It does give you some extra protection when the ear unit is sitting on the ground. And overall, it really is as straightforward as that. Create a text file called NACO underscore PWR, save it on an SD card, write inside the text file PWR underscore one or PWR underscore two, put it in the goggles with everything turned on. As long as you're in FCC, it will give you the outputs. Okay, and that's it for this video. Now I will put a link to this file actually in the description of this video as well, because for Mac users, it's probably easier just to download that and stick it straight on the SD card than trying to do it on a Mac because there are some quirks. There is also a link to the DJI digital FPV system in the description as well. If you'd like to support the channel, please do check it out. That's it 
Thank you for watching. Please do subscribe and I will do another video again soon. Please do subscribe to the channel and check out all of the other videos we have available. They are also split into playlists to help you easily find the ones that are relevant to you. If you would like to support the channel, please check out the links that are in the description for each video. You will find the links for the products we've been talking about and it's only by you guys purchasing via these links that allows us to keep making videos and buy products to talk about in the future. Please also check us out and follow us on all of the social media platforms such as Twitter, Instagram and Facebook. We're beginning to build these accounts up and whilst it is early days, I would appreciate it if you would like, share and follow us on these platforms. Finally, please also check out my website, www.madrc.com. Now, this is somewhere that we've been putting some of our blog posts and things like that over the last couple of years. So if you're interested in having a look, please do go check it out. That is it. Please do click that subscribe button. Thank you very much. And I will do another video again soon.